all right folks so what is going on i'm back with the second duel of the day and we have won the rock paper scissors so we are doing fantastically um hold on real quick i don't even know if we're recording right now all right so we actually were recording tan is actually very bad um wait what on a face up monster slip face actually let's go for it i hope you don't have a maxi all right doesn't have a maxi we're in the business if he doesn't have a ghost ogre, we're fine. Also, he doesn't have a ghost ogre. Absolutely. Special summon this guy. <laughs> Book. <laughs> special summon this guy. <laughs> Wait, which I don't want that one on a build, so I'm just gonna special summon you. <laughs> Book you also. I'm gonna special summon Stalagmo. Um, and then we're gonna set that one also. So, let's go. Um, that's it. Let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. One Regeki can just go ahead and just make us hit the surrender button. Um, but if he doesn't have a Regeki and if he doesn't have any powerful plays, this man is in a lot of trouble right now. This man is in a lot of a trouble. Actually, this man or woman is in a lot of trouble. Um, it's going to be very tough for them to overcome all this. Oh, no, that's not a good sign. That is not good. Oh, there's a terraforming. Why are you playing tricksters? We are playing magical set it out living. Do you know this card is like ten dollars? Yeah, man. If you guys, I know I got some. I know I at least got three. I know I at least got three. I bought so many of these structure decks. It's not even funny, but like it's just like it's ridiculous. Um, okay, there's a pot of desires. Um, so I'm guessing he's playing this new magical that new uh. The new spell counter deck that just has spell counters. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad, folks. This is really bad. This this card right here gains the oh yep, Matt. What is it called? Mythical Beast. Um, target one out of the spell trap. What what? Why do you play Duelist Alliance? Okay. So that's four. This is at two. This is at none. Okay. So that's at three. This is at two. I'm pretty sure you're gonna activate yeah, let's say. That's six. He could special summon one from his hand. Um, you know what they actually need, dude? What can you? You can't attack over anything. What are you doing? They need cards that. Wait, let me see. What does it say? Um. If a card with spell counter is destroyed, place the spell counter. Oh yeah, that's what they need. So, what they can do is make a turbo version of a Demion and stuff. The, uh, the Western, the level 7 spellcaster, whenever it's special summon, you get back a Western. You know what? Matter of fact, we're going to be playing this deck. I'm going to try to build something cool and fun because I know that you can abuse your Demion because it's not once per turn. And yeah, none of it. I don't think any of his effects is once per turn. And then when he special summon, you get a spell back. The problem is that there's not really that many good spells to actually get back. Is the reason why Magician of Faith isn't good. There's a reason. It's that's the reason. And not isn't good, but it's the reason why it's not being played. All right, Hidden City. That's actually a really good one. So let's start off with Hidden City. Activate. Search a Subterra monster. Do I want to get fiendish? Fiendish. Do I want to get fiendish? Um, I think I want to get guru because guru is just the best card in the game right now. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. We're getting rid of all of those. Um, we're going to flip you. Proceed to activate you. We're going to dump this, the best card in the game. Um, hmm. That doesn't do anything. It's 1900 defense. Uh, we can flip you as long as you don't have a warning. We are completely fine. I really like the warrior's effect because it masks all these effects. So now your opponent can't really respond to nothing. All right, there we go. So here, this is 2800. I don't think I don't think I want this one. So with that being said, I can actually flip this and then activate Hidden City. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's let's. No, actually, we need Hidden City for something else. So we're going to activate you. And we're going to send Stygo Kraken. And then we're going to tribute off this guy. 
and special summons Daigo Kraken face down defense. Gonna activate Hidden City. Putting that to attack, activate that, and we're gonna. Oh wait, we have to just oh damn it, I did not realize that. Okay, alright, so what do you do again? Gains attack equal to the Gabon original levels of stub terrors. Wait, what? During your main phase, you can send one flip monster from your deck and you do special one to face down position. Um, once you're running for a card, this card points to his flip face up. Add a flip monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. So, with that being said, I can't keep flipping. Probably should have started off with all that. Um, hmm. I can definitely discard that and get a fiendish. And get rid of you. This card is just amazing. Get rid of you and you to go into a sub terror. Wait, what do you do again? During your main phase, you can send from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one from your hand, face down. You can only use this effect once a turn. You can add a flip monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, so with that being said, um, it is a flip face up, huh? That is the problem. We need to flip this card, but we can't. Um. Hmm, I know we can possibly game this person because if I normal summon this and then I just about to summon this so target one I've changed this monster face down bam 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 use these two You can activate one for one. Nope, no need to chain. Oh, we supposed to have a globe up and go to Turia Beast and just win the game. That is actually really cute. Um, I think Fiendish is actually a lot better. And what? And then I could spell, wait, spell someone face up defense position. So I can actually book itself. I can actually book itself and special summon uh, Subterra from my graveyard, which would be this person that's 26 or this. It's actually game, isn't it? It should be game. Because then this game's. Wait, what? Oh, use for his link summon. I think that's still game. Should be. Um, yeah, that's what 16 30. Yeah, that's game. I don't even know what I'm like. Yeah, that's that's game. That's 16. Damn, that's that's ridiculous. That thing is at 1600. I mean, 16 spell counters. That's ridiculous. No, we don't want to use that. Let's go ahead and get another game. Let's go ahead and get another game, man. This one was pretty quick. This one was really quick. All right, so be right back, folks. All right, here we go um, again, back again. Let's see if we can get, oh, there we go. We have won the die roll. And um, all right, we'll start off with the Hidden City. Now, I want to activate this Terraforming because I want to bait out an Ash Blossom or something. Doesn't have it, it's okay. Because um, we can go ahead and get the Hidden City going. Gonna drone Lockbird me, you bastard? Don't do that. Please don't do that. That would actually really hurt. That would really hurt, actually. Come on, man. Taking way too long. Jesus Christ. I'm about to quit, man. This is just ridiculous. There's no reason to take this long. If you have a hand trap, activate the hand trap. If you don't, you don't, man. There's no. Thank you, man. There's no reason to be waiting this long for something. All right. So what we're going to do here is get Guru. Set it and then flip it. And then we, we should be good after that, right? Should be, but... Look like it's going to take... Oh, there we go. He's not going to take six years. <laughs> and that to attack. I was actually for the captain of defense. And then what we're going to search is final battle. Because final battle is the, is the, is the best one you can get. It's is literally the best one you can get. Um, and then there we go. That's, that's enough of that. And then what? If I control another sub terror card, I can actually book on his turn. So what I can do is I can flip this and then chain Guru. You know what I mean? Sure, that's that's fine. Cannot be negated. That's actually cute. That's actually real cute. 
Dragon's Ravine is fine. I don't know what you're going for. But I can stop it. I can. So you're going to send one to... Oh, he's playing Felgrand. Okay, well, that actually kind of hurts. But I feel like we're good because... Oh, there, there's the Destrudo. All right, there's that guy. So, if I'm not mistaken, wait. Send one card and target. Wait, what? It increases level by four only during your opponent's turn. When this card destroys an opponent's spot by battle, by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can send one level seven or eight from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. And then you can send one card from your hand to target a level eight dragon type monster from your graveyard. Send this card, and if you do, special summon. All right, so. That being said, what we're going to do is activate this and prevent effect negation. And then we should, yeah, there we go. We should be able to chain and book this. There we go. So everything worked out pretty fine. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then that's it. That should be the end of his turn. Because unless he has like a return of the dragon lord, which I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's a soul charge. Well, it didn't. It was one of the two. So <laughs> it didn't matter none what I did. So that sucks. But uh, yeah, he can only get rid of what monster J. He can only get rid of that. So wait, what? Why can I activate this? Oh, it wasn't the last thing to happen. Got it. Understood. But it's all right. It's it's going to be okay, folks. I'm not gonna cry. If I can drop top deck a princess, a prediction princess, we're actually really good. He goes into a needle fiber, which is disgusting. What does he get him out though? He gets him out of tuner, but like he can't really do anything with the tuner. Well, he can do that. That is um, it's really good. Oh no, deco talker, got it. And then he can get a white stone and ancient out during the end phase. Not a white stone ancient. Uh, he can get out the uh, the blue eye, the white stone dragon. I forgot what it's called. You know, the one that banishes. There you go, dragon spirit of white. Pretty sure he's going to target the back row. Yep. He does. Top deck, heavy dust storm. Does not really need it right now. Um, This is horrible. Yeah, we just have to activate another one. There's nothing else we can really do, man. We can feast it and beast it on. So what I can do here, how much defense does this have? 600? I can attack with Guru. Actually, what does this do? Uh, wait, this only has 600, right? So, with that being said, do I want to do Guru or do I want to do... I think I do want to get another Guru. I think Guru is actually pretty cool. So what I can do is I could normal summon this. I think we're good. I think I'm pretty sure he has a blue eyes in his hand because why wouldn't they not have a blue eyes in their hand? You know, this happens all the time. Uh, but what I can do is I can normal summon attack over this, then um, book this, and then special summon this, and then we we should be able to go from there. Sadly, we didn't draw anything for this tower tray. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and try that. Let's attack over this. No need to chain right now. All right, here we go. Then you can't do this in the battle step. What? What is this? Okay, I guess. All right. Well, I try. I try to go too far. It, it didn't matter. I was never going to be able to use the effect anyways. And he has a blue eyes. <laughs> oh my god, man! This is this is awful. Yeah, we can activate this. Um, special some of that right on over here. Then we can activate Guru. I mean, Hidden City to flip this. And we activate that. And then with this, I guess we search another battle. Because then target one set sub terror changes the face up attack. And then this can reduce something to zero. So, yeah, let's get that. And then we can also Guru on his turn also. So worst case scenario, we're going to have to do some uh, some magic. We're going to have to do some magic. Now, I don't have a flip monster in my hand. Or otherwise, I would have went Behemoth. Attri I mean, I would have went Attrition. 
But I do. Oh, wait, what? Special summon one monster from your hand. Oh, never mind. Um, what does it say? <sighs> that actually. Oh, man, if, if that just worked. It doesn't work, though. Um, so, yeah, let's just end our turn right here. So, <clears throat> we're actually, I think we're actually, I think we're actually fine. Cause like I said, I can book him, even though it might not be the smartest thing to do. I, I still can't book him. He can't use uh Destrudo. If you activate Ravine, we're definitely going to hit him with a heavy dust storm. And then, yeah. All right. So what are you discarding? Let me guess. This is the level seven. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Why would it not be the level seven? Why, like, why would it not be that card? Oh man, this is just so genuinely unfair. It's it's so good, man. Like, if you guys knew how good you needed to be to 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 lose as much as I do. Oh, all right. Well, so once we turn when a monster declares an attack, you could change one's face down, and then I can negate the attack. So if he goes into his battle phase, which is cool, there we go. What we can do is activate this, book this, and book itself. And so no need to do all that. So if he declares an attack, which I'm pretty sure he is, no, he is gonna do it. All right, that was dumb. Um, yeah, we're gonna flip this to face up to, f yep. And then we're gonna activate and we wanna search Fiendish. Where are you at? We can search Subterra Fiendish. And like I said, we can just book this during my turn. Because, yeah, the battle, the, negate, the attack got negated. So, during my turn, what I can do is I can book this. Because um, I do want another flip. So, change the face down. We're going to book this guy. No need to. And then draw phase. Nope. Um, actually... Yeah, we can just activate this, change the face up, flip that to attack mode, activate that. Um, no, we're not going to do all that. And then what we can do is we can get Umas tricks. That's what we can do, but we can get Umas tricks regardless. I think I want to get another final battle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I want to get another final battle because this when you have two of these going then you, you just you really can't just lose Nope Nope I guess that we're just gonna negate that so that's Actually, we can just negate. No, 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 we don't well dragon spirit of white Um, Let me see Try to sense it. Yeah, we're just gonna negate with fiendish and then we're gonna book this Nope. So then activate another hit in the city. Oh, he quit. Then what we're going to do is get Uma's tricks, flip this to uh, put this at zero, attack over this, attack over this, main phase two, book this, special summon Uma's trick, book it. And yeah, we would have won. All right, so we came back from a. Uh, we weren't looking too good. Uh, our opponent just drew perfect, but we still. We're able to out it because of Subterra Guru getting more Subterra cards to your hand, which is crazy. But yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that. It was fairly long. Um, but yeah, man, we did get it going. So that's good. Uh, yeah, man, we're, we just, you know what? I think with this deck, I would have to put in more uh, special summon. Like, what is it? It's a pay, I think it's pay 2000 special summon a flip monster from your graveyard. You have to find something to, you know, get cards out because with this effect we could dump cards like guard dog or you know whirlwind weasel um i don't i mean you can send this and lock your opponent out but then it'll just link with the three monsters but yeah um yeah flip cards like this and then be able to beat your opponent so i think taking out the prediction stuff because it's literally one two three four five six cards of your deck that literally all need one of one another like i mean stuff for prep like preparation rights um, I mean pre-prep you don't need you know just, you know you just activate it but you do need these two in the deck so technically all of these cards need to have some sort of interaction with each other with each other 
you need a spell in your deck and then with this you need this in your hand um, it's not like Slayer where you can just, you know, ritual summon from your graveyard. Um, you actually need it in your hand. So, yeah, we'll probably take out these, add some recursion from the graveyard. Um, and I think that should be good for the deck. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I had fun. Thank you guys for watching this week. See you guys next week or maybe Friday. I don't know. If you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click an ad. That is enough for me for today. Uh, see you guys next week or tomorrow. Stay tuned. Be right back. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.